The show was a bit of a mess because they're not here to complain. We're here to practice gratitude. I am lighting up some candles in order to give off a whole aesthetic vibe when I start journaling. On another episode of Keeping Up with Queen P. So, I have not been consistent with my channeling. And the reason why I've not been consistent is because I have been journaling in such a boring way. I feel my emotions 10 times more than the average person feels theirs. So, I definitely need to journal in order to regulate my nervous system. And I need to flip the script, make it more fun in order to keep the consistency going. So, I am lighting up some candles in order to give off a whole aesthetic vibe when I start journaling. Ooh, the candle is moving! Not the candle, but the matchstick I was about to burn. And I ain't finna go and burn. Last one. Bravo. So, I bought these candles from Mr. Price Home. I believe that it's a bargain because it's 18 small packs of candles within here it is a cranberry flavor and it smells okay. <laughs> why was i acting like if i could smell that no i couldn't but it really does give off that cranberry smell it smells so divine but yeah let us get into it so i basically don't journal every day because that's not how consistency works um i usually only journal not only, but I usually make sure that I always do a monthly reflection, monthly update because I basically allow myself to write in my journal like I'm updating one of my friends. So this is just me cutting out some items that I'm basically going to put inside my journal in order to make it fun, in order to make it look fun actually. Right now, you guys won't understand what I'm doing, but trust the process. And definitely, when I'm done, you'll be like, mm, I like what I see. This is actually reminding me of primary school. Like, when last did I actually oh God, take a scissor? Actually, take scissors and cut out something, you know, from a page or a book. Like, it's been a while, actually, you know. I've been doing so many grown girl things that this is basically allowing me to reminisce a little bit. So this is the before and let us see a bit of the after. So this is how a bit of the after looks like. So basically what I aim to do is that every time I write a monthly reflection I am basically just going to print out the month that I'm basically dealing with and just basically put it in my journal in a nice aesthetic vibe, you know, just to make it look cool, you know, and like I said before, to basically keep up with the consistency. So today isn't actually the 27th of March, today is the 20, no, today isn't actually the 27th of April. Day is the 28th of April. I was supposed to do this yesterday, but I was really tired. I've been struggling with fatigue, and basically, I stumbled upon this. I don't know what to call it, but I basically stumbled upon this internet source that basically said that women need nine to ten hours of sleep. Because these 8 hours are not cutting me, I am still tired at the end of the day. I was actually not a fan of Pritt. I mainly loved the wood glue because it used to stick longer. Like sometimes when you use Pritt, like my words in primary or like my pictures used to fall off. But like wow, 
this is bringing back so many memories and i'm stepping into my inner child like wow i feel like such a child and it just takes me back to the days when i was at holy cross convent that was my primary school by the way so shout out to all the girls and boys that went to holy cross convent what a catholic school it was the first question that i have for myself is basically how was april april was definitely a long month a lot of assignments which was the main challenge but i nailed it april reminded me that the first quarter of the year is done and that there's still enough time to work on myself and my goals and be more mindful about discipline question number two the question is what was your best moment about april my best moment in april was my friend's graduation party i've been to quite a few graduation parties before but this one specifically was so inspiring what stood out to me was her aunt's speech where her aunt was basically talking about how to break generational curses and that is only possible if you know yourself at the end of the day my friend's aunt is in her 40s she's not married has no kids has two degrees and is working towards getting another degree which will be now her third one and she basically said that because she knows herself she only stays with people who uplift her she also motivated us that by the age of 18 your driver's license should be your first accomplishment and the others should come after the next question that we have do i think that i was consistent in april i actually didn't finish up with the question so i should basically continue and say and if not how can i improve for me compared to the first quarter of the year i was definitely consistent with this one bad habit that i'm fighting however for the month of may more discipline is required in order to see myself through i wasn't consistent with my pilates i don't know why i've been slacking so for me i believe that i should set up a notification to ensure that at least three times a day i'm stretching my body but i was consistent with my three meals drinking water flossing and brushing my teeth because i also feel as though it's very important to sustain the physical because one's body really does a lot for them the next question is am i taking care of myself and am i making myself a priority i put a big yes there because definitely i also downloaded this app called i am which basically gives daily affirmations that i can actually say to myself and words of affirmation is one of my love languages and this app basically makes you more confident within yourself also how i am taking care of myself and making myself priority is by working on my boundaries and really ensuring that i do the things that i say i'm going to do and not neglect myself and definitely put myself first so what am i grateful for in terms of the month of april it's may right now but we're gonna act as though it's still april the first thing i'm grateful for is that i had the opportunity to attend the i'm a piano festival where capsa de small and mr chazik were performing i wouldn't say they are part of like my favorite artists but I am a big fan of some of their music. So it was really a lovely experience and such a privilege to get to witness them perform right in front of my two big brown, right in front of my two big dark brown eyes. 
The second thing that I'm grateful for is the people that I spent my time with at the Arnold Piano Festival. I was my sister, my cousin, and my friend. It was lovely. It was wholesome. I got to meet also other people that I haven't seen for a while. And it was lovely catching up. Like, oh, hey, how are you? You look great. Are you enjoying the show and everything? The show was a bit of a mess, but we're not here to complain. We're here to practice gratitude. The third thing that I'm grateful for is that the same day as the Amapiano Festival was the same day as my friend's graduation party and I made sure that I still had to attend her party and just witness her achievement. It was really beautiful, the food was lovely, the decor was lovely, she looked lovely, I looked lovely and the speeches were so motivational that I really walked away with so much and i'm just like wow honestly there was one lady that i'm like you know what i really aspire to be you man because you know what's up you know you really really know what's up because she i think i mentioned this before in the video but if you know yourself you are able to break generational curses and that's on per also what i'm grateful for is that i was allowed to witness 30 days of april and there was a time in April where our water closed on a specific Saturday. And that really made me realize that you really never know what you have until it's gone. Because like water is like a basic thing that once you open up your tap, it's there. You know, you don't really expect it to go away because you're always paying for it. And that day, you know, municipality was like, mm, we are closing your water sister. And honestly, it was just like, wow, there's no water here. There is really no water in my tap. Not my tab because like I don't pay for the water electricity, but you, you get what I'm saying. And we have officially come to the end of this video. I really hope you guys walked away with something. It's really important to regulate your emotions, sit with those uncomfortable feelings. Not everybody needs to know your BS, so let your journal sometimes be your best friend and cater for that. And what else do I want to say? I wanted to say also that I'm also trying to learn that sometimes, not sometimes, really, the answers that I'm looking for are really within me, you know? I don't need to always seek for external help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. But sometimes, the problems that I have, they definitely are solutions to it. But yeah, thank you for sticking to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I really hope you guys make your journaling fun for yourselves. And I shall see you lovely people next time.